Hi Meg, welcome back to my channel. I am a lover of all things beauty and makeup, especially eyeshadow palettes and especially Melt Cosmetics. So when they do a collaboration with one of my all-time favorite content creators, Bailey Sarian, you know your girl has to get the entire collection. Well, almost the entire collection, but we'll get into that. <laughs> Anyways, I thought it would be fun to unbox it here together, play around, have some fun. As Bailey says, it's just makeup. It'll wash off. So let's get into it. Uh, starting off with, in the box, it's really cute. They've got on the inside uh, the Melt and Bailey Serian Fatally Yours collection. And then on the other side, they have her classic make good choices phrase, XOXO, Bailey Serian, super cute. Um, and then going in at uh, the very top of the box, they've got some cute cards along with some really cute stickers. These are so adorable, absolutely love them. I can't wait to stick these on drawers and stuff around me <laughs> definitely be doing that uh and then just like the two cards I was talking about so one of them just kind of has a promo of Bailey with the collection and just also like the collection itself and then just a nice little message card with Bailey's eyes on the one side and a nice message from Bailey just talking about you know the collection and just how happy she is about it um and yeah really really nice all right, and then getting into our first item, uh, they did a kind of like makeup bag slash purse. Like, I think it's really kind of whatever you want to, however you want to look at it, whatever you want to use it for. I love that it has like the purse aspect just because I do have like, I, not even I think basically all, I think I have all of the different sorts of makeup bags that Melt has released over time, um, even like their lipstick kind of case slash because you can take the insert out slash makeup case I have two of them uh so I'm definitely covered in that area so I'm really excited to use this as a cute little purse um as you can see it's got fatally yours on the one side and then melt and baby Syrian on the other they included this really nice long strap that goes like pretty long so you can easily wear this as a crossbody or just over the shoulder if you want um and then just the beautiful plaid pattern on the inside just so classically Bailey um it's definitely like you know it's not a huge bag but it's still a good size like I don't know if I could fit like my my regular wallet in here but I could definitely fit like my phone and some like you know other necessities um definitely would just be a fun going out you know styling up an outfit kind of a bag so I'm really excited about this and also um, if you've ever felt like some of their like faux leather kind of um, bags and that before like with the Nightmare Before Christmas um, both those releases and then also like I said with like the lipstick slash makeup bag cases they've had they actually still have um, on their website uh, it's just like that nice typical like soft faux leather feel I'm um, just absolutely love this the quality is just amazing um, it just they really did a great job with this. Okay, and now digging in it to the makeup portion of the collection. First off, obviously one of my favorite things in a collection, the eyeshadow palette. They have the Fatally Yours eyeshadow palette on the front. It's got Bailey's eyes, Fatally Yours, um, the back, Melt, and then Make Good Choices, XOXO, Bailey Serian, and then all of like your product info. Um, if you want to like read up on the ingredients, have at her. Um, Maybe it's something I should be more specific about, but I'm not really something that I pay too much attention to because I don't have any sensitivities to anything. Uh, so I'm not worried about that. Um, and then the palette itself. So same sort of design, just uh, like the color scheme, like placement is just a little bit different. And then going inside, trying to open it so it doesn't fall right out. We have that um, like protective plastic cover with Bailey's eyes, really cute. Um, I may or may not end up holding on to this. Uh, a lot of times I get rid of them, but sometimes when they're like more special like that, I hold on to them. And then we have the gorgeous palette itself. This is like a grungy dream. I absolutely love this. I think it fits right into the melt kind of world, you know, of what they do. Plus it just seems very Bailey, so. I think they really nailed it with this color story. Um, if you 
haven't already kind of seen this over and over again and uh, heard all about the collection, um, all of the shade names for everything um, in the collection are all poisons, which is really cool. Um, hopefully I'll be able to pronounce all of them, but we'll see. Uh, and I'll either have, I'll have uh, swatches of like everything inserted somewhere, so don't worry about that. Uh, but the color scheme itself, um, all matte palette, uh, there are uh, 10 shades um, ranging from uh, arsenic and kerosene are definitely the lightest shades. And then uh, lead and uh, strychnine um, and then uh, I guess sarin are probably like the deepest shades in here. Um, really nice. Nothing like uber light. So if you're very fair, like I'm pretty fair, um, but I'm not worried about it. I feel like I can still blend out even mid-tone shades quite easily without having something lighter. So it's not something I'm too fussed about, but you know, you can generally grab in something from your own, like the rest of your collection if you really need to, or use like a face powder or something to help blend out. But if you really, the melt formula I find is great and really blendable. And if you just like work at it, you can blend out just about any shade fine in my opinion so not something that bothers me but I guess if it bothers you maybe maybe this isn't the color story for you uh but really gorgeous um it's all matte I don't know if I just said that or not uh really beautiful um formula uh matte formula from Melt Cosmetics so I am not sad about it being all matte and then as you'll see soon they have a couple of other products that they have in the collection that uh allow you to add some sparkle if you want so that is the palette. We'll dig into that in a moment. And then they also have two of their gel liners. Um, if I, I don't know if I've mentioned it on my channel yet, but I know I've mentioned it in other platforms and that, that the Melt gel liners are like my all time favorite gel liner formula. And they also have just a really good selection of colors. Like I wish that they'd come out with even more. Like I feel like they have such an amazing formula and could like really corner the market more than they possibly already do with gel liners. Um, so that I think that they could just create so many, <laughs> so many different shades. Uh, so I'm happy to have, uh, there's one new shade, uh, called, uh, nightshade in the collection. And then also they included, um, just like a cult fave and also like Bailey's, one of Bailey's favorites, Onyx, which is their black. So this is the outer packaging. And then we have the two gels right here. So first we have Nightshade, which really kind of comes across as looking quite purple to me. Um, but I, I haven't swatched it myself yet, as you can see. Uh, but from videos I've watched, when I hear people say it actually has more of like a deep blue tone to it. Uh, so that is a uh, pretty interesting definitely not one i have already um i of course already have onyx but i'm happy to have a backup um potentially probably need to replace mine uh i i keep them and use them longer <laughs> than the uh recommended time um but i'm only using them on myself and i find that they're just fine and i don't have any issues so uh, and they've all stayed really nice and creamy so that's another thing i just love about the formula but as you can see just a gorgeous matte black. Um, mine seems to be really good. I know that some of the videos I've seen of people um, had issues where like I don't think I think just through production like the lid for the onyx shade wasn't put on properly and so it was like dried out a bit. Um, maybe you can still make it work if that happened to you but I also would if that did happen to you reach out to um, the brand because they are really good with their customer service. Um, I had an issue with just a palette outside of this um, not long ago and like they didn't even hesitate to help me out and just make it all right. So I recommend doing that, but hopefully, hopefully it didn't happen to you. <laughs> okay, and then next, as I was mentioning that there was some sparkle included, even though it was an all matte palette, they got you covered and they did two of their glitter eye gels. Uh, so they are in uh, Wisteria and also Boom Slang. I'm going to have to like look up a lot of these different things because like some of the some of the names definitely like they're familiar. I know I've heard of that before, but I've never heard of Boom Slang before. And now I'm super curious. Uh, but they have Wisteria is a gorgeous sort of like dark purple um like to me the base looks really purple uh with all sorts of different like sparkly reflex in it hopefully if you can 
that up. Really gorgeous. Um, and also just nice to see that these were filled a lot better than if you saw my uh, Christmas Town collection video. I was just really kind of a bit miffed about how full the glitter gels were for that. Um, so they definitely did not leave us hanging on this. And then definitely my favorite thing already so far, Boom Slang, which is just this gorgeous bright like acid green one. I'm already tempted just to like order another one of these because I just love it so much. But I keep telling myself that like it's going to be a while before I go through this whole thing. So just slow your roll and <laughs> use the one you got. Anyways, um, I tried their glitter gel formula, obviously with the um, like Christmas Town collection and then also Forever Go when they had their, I think it was like their Mary Jane um, release. They had some glitter gels. Uh, I really loved it. I did eventually have to get rid of the one I had from that just because after a while, like it had dried out. Um, unlike the gel liners, it didn't seem like it kind of stood the test of time. So I definitely suggest trying to use these in a timely manner, but who knows that might've just been like a one-off thing with that. That's the only one that I've had for a length of time, uh, but really excited to play with these and put them on my eyeballs. Uh, super, super excited. <laughs> All right, and last but certainly not least, we have the four ultra matte lipsticks in the collection. This is a formula that Melt already has in a bunch of colors. I think I own almost every single one from them already, uh, but we have four new shades uh, with the Fatally Yours collection uh, in Wolfsbane, Nutmeg, Gallerina, and Hemlock. So these are the boxes, Bailey's lips with like the kind of sort of corresponding color, and then here's like the lipstick bullets themselves. Before I get into the shades, I know numerous people had made comments where like one, they, they either made the mistake and called these like mini lipsticks and just to like pull one of their other regular lipsticks out, like this is from the Fadely Yours, this is a regular lipstick. This is like the melt size for the lipsticks. Um, I do understand where people are saying like where like they seem maybe like they're mini if you're not used to like the melt um, bullet components. Um, like for instance, like this is a ColourPop bullet lipstick and this is the melt one. So it does look small. Um, at first I was kind of like, oh yeah, but it's wider, but I don't think it really is that much wider. Like, so it is small. Um, but then, you know, comparably to though, like a legitimate mini lipstick I have, uh, is the, this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And as you can see, like this is, this is a mini, like this is really small. So I get where people are coming from. Um, this does, they do seem smaller, but they are full size lipsticks, um, just so you know. Uh, they do also have, and this is the part of the collection I didn't grab, just because I'm not as into liquid lips as I used to be, um, and I actually did recently get rid of um, pretty much all of my Melt Cosmetics liquid lipsticks just because I'd had them for quite a while and I just was pretty sure that they had turned. They had gotten like quite separated and liquidy, um, so it just didn't feel like they were functioning as great, uh, but there is a really cute set. Um, I don't remember what it's called. I'll have to look that up. Uh, but, um, I'm filming on my phone right now, so I can't, I can't look anything up. Uh, but it's a cute little liquid lip, uh, set, uh, with three shades in it. Um, super, super nice, but I chose to pass on it for now. Uh, but with the collection, I we got four bullet lipsticks, which I'm really excited about, uh, because it's a formula I do know and love. Uh, so to start off with the lightest shade we have is Gallerina. Just beautiful light nude. Um, hopefully you can see. So there's just a really nice um, plaid pattern right on the bullet. And then also, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, um, but on the top you have Bailey's lips. You can even have, like have her like little piercing. Uh, everything so cute. So love that. Uh, I'm pretty sure somehow, yeah, somehow mine has like the point is kind of off, which is a little bit disappointing, but that's fine. It's not something that's going to like make or break it for me. But if that one seems off, that's definitely not how it is. Um, normally, yes. Yeah. So, like see this, this is the shade uh, Hemlock. So just a nice sort of like, it looks pretty deep to me. Yeah, like I think this is actually the second deepest shade. Um, and it's like a deep brown, again, same sort of like design embossing on there, really gorgeous. Um, and then the second lightest shade we have is Nutmeg, 
beautiful sort of, I guess, mid-tone brown. And then the last shade and the deepest is Wolfsbane. And it's just this sort of like beautiful, like deep burgundy red color sort of thing. So love a good shade like that. I think these are going to go great with the eyeshadows and I can't wait to wear them. after all that you're still with me sorry if that was like a word vomit blah uh when I have to talk a lot so anytime I'm talking about a whole collection or anything like that I start talking faster and I feel like just I lose my train of thought and ramble and I get tongue-tied so sorry if that was a hot mess but let's get into the fun part the creativity so I want to go in with this eyeshadow palette. I've just been dying to use it ever since they showed it, um, since I've seen other people's videos, and I just want to get going. So to start off with, I want to first lay down some sort of base work with the black. Uh, this is in the shade Lead, and we're going to take that on this little Morphe JH42 brush. And into that. Um, another great use for their gel liners actually is um, as like eyeshadow bases and stuff which I really I could use Onyx for that um, but I just don't I don't feel like it <laughs> right now but it is really nice another great uh, use for for them. All right so we're gonna lay this down first right right here. I'm not worrying as much about like what's on the inner um, inner part just because I'm, I'm going to clean that up later. And then we're also going to lay it down right here like so somewhat along the lashes. And Wing it out a bit. Something like that. And then we are going to go in with what else? All right, so I'm going to then on the inner corner, I'm going to take, I probably should have thought about this a bit more. I'm going to take. Strychnine, just the deep teal, and I'm picking that up on a Morphe 506, a little blending brush, and we're gonna start blending out from that black. It's basically like the same tone, almost. <laughs> almost like I didn't even need to have this but I think in the grand scheme of stuff it adds a little a little something all right just like that and then let's go in with All right, we're gonna go in to Kerosene, this gorgeous blue. I love the tone of it. It's just the light blue, but it's almost like got some of like the tealy kind of green, but then almost grungy baby blue. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but I really like it. Uh, and then this is just on a Morphe JS12, I think that says. And we're just going to start blending even further out. Right, 
right there. And also more on the inside. It's definitely a bit like deeper, I think, than I think that's going to be a commonality amongst a lot of these shades. But that's fine. You just do something like this. So just taking a, another brush, like no additional product on it. This is a Melt number 85. And first right here on the inner corner, I'm just going to lightly blend. And then right here, I'll do the same thing. And see just like how light like that can blend out. Like, I don't know. I find it works pretty good. And so therefore I'm not really worried about if there's a super light shade or not, but it really just depends on like what your makeup style is and what your comfort levels are. And I'm just going back into like previous shades now just to really intensify. I'm thinking this brush, still no additional product on it. And something like that. I think, I think that's how we're gonna leave that. Actually, you know what? I originally wasn't going to, I was gonna clean up this line right here, but part of me's just like, I'm planning on putting another product in here and I'm just kinda like, why not just blend? I don't have to have it like too blended because again, I'm going to put another product in there, but just figured why not just have, have the colors connect, uh, not waste time cleaning up if I don't have to. Uh, so next, want to go with the product I'm super excited about. I'm sure it, this isn't a huge shocker to any of you. I uh, want to go in with Boom Slang, the, uh, one of their glitter eye gels. And I think I'm actually going to take it on a brush or try to take it on a brush first. Um, this is a Melt number 24. This is from their like Amori Mary Posa collection. I'm just going to pick up a dollop of that and we're just going to start going to town putting this on our eyeballs. I'm just going to start spreading it out pretty good, but I'll probably layer it up quite a bit because I really want a lot of intense sparkle. Oh yeah, like just look at that. So excited. Just gonna start dabbing it up so it goes, starts to diffuse like up into here too. So I just want some sparkle carrying on. And then I want it to sort of diffuse into the outer corner. So I want the heaviest concentration right here. And then just, I want there to be like some sparkle, but not concentrated. Something like that that. All right, added some liner. I went in with another, like this is actually new to me, Beloved Melt product. This is their Slick Waterline Eye Pencil and this is in the shade Black Onyx. Um, this to me is basically like their gel liner in a pencil form. Absolutely love this. Have only used it a few times but this is very quickly becoming a holy grail product for me. Um, so I put that on like I tight lined and then also put it on my waterline and then also kind of like into like my lower lash line as well. And I'm just going to go back in with that same first brush and a bit more of lead, the black, and I'm just going to start stamping that over top. Something just like that. Don't want it to get like too out of hand. And then I'm actually going to wipe it off a little bit and I'm going to go in with that brush that we used uh, for Strychnine and I'm just going to lightly blend out a little bit. I don't really want to add too much 
to the lower lash line, but you know, the look we're creating so far, I think it calls for at least a little bit of drama. And I think actually we're gonna intensify this wing out here a little bit more as well. Sometimes you just kind of think as you go. All right, and then I'm actually gonna take the shade that I used as my face highlight. It is a uh, Melt Cosmetics uh, Digital Dust highlight in the shade Stargazer. Just, it's the lightest shade that they have now. I think they used to have one even lighter, um, but that has since been discontinued. Uh, so gonna go in with this beauty. And I'm gonna take this on a Morphe 5149, just this cute little fluffy brush. And we're just gonna take that and dab it on the inner corner. All right, so we have both eyes caught up. Uh, had the worst coughing fit ever at the end of that last clip, so hopefully ended that okay. Uh, now that they're both caught up, one, I'm kicking myself because after doing the liner through my lower lash, I totally remembered that I was gonna use Nightshade on my waterline uh, just to kind of, one, use use a new gel liner from them and also just add in another dynamic of color to this look, but I spaced, so it is what it is. Uh, but as an afterthought too, I have decided that I wanna bring in a bit of this Wisteria shade and I'm gonna take that on this little Sephora, Sephora number 26 brush. I'll try not to like pick up too much at once. And I'm actually gonna bring that like sort of on the inside of my lower lash. Oh yeah. Something like that. Ooh, oh yeah. Good decision. And it's nice that it's allowing us to use even more products from the collection. Yes. I like to try to be able to use as much stuff as I can. And then as I'm sitting here, I've also looking at it, decided that I wanna bring Boom Slang in a little bit more into the inner corner and almost use that a little bit more as my inner corner highlight. I don't know why I didn't really think I could do this when I was laying everything down, but Yeah, and then connect the two. So it's going like basically from one of the glitters to the other. Um, oh, and this other brush, this is another one from the Amori Mariposa collection. It's number 523. I don't know if I got that last one's number right because that was only two numbered. Yeah, all right. Uh, 523, um, and just using that to bring Boom Slang all the way in. Meet it up with Wisteria in the corner. And then we still have like that other highlight shade under there as like a bit of a base, but the pop is more so gonna be boom slang. Yeah, definitely happy with that. Good decisions, good decisions. This brain, although not all there, is at least still functioning somewhat. Uh, I am going to Go put some lashes on uh, and then we're going to come back and we'll decide what lip. And while I'm putting my lashes on, I can think more about what lip I want to pair with this super subtle, subtle look we've created here. So we'll be right back. Okay, eyes are finished. Really happy with how this turned out. Um, I decided to just, since it was going for like sort of like I don't know, maybe grungy vibe, despite all the sparkle. Uh, look, I decided to do a technique I haven't done in a little while um, where you can just sort of like stamp some mascara, sort of create this like textured kind of look. So I did that on like my lower lash line and then outer wing. Not like super, like I didn't do it a lot um, or like too far out, but I just thought it added a little 
interesting dimension. Um, so while I was finishing off all of that, I decided that I am going to go in with the shade Gallerina. It is the lightest shade in the collection. Um, I just decided that I didn't want to do anything too dark uh, just because I just feel like the eyes are dramatic enough. So I just wanted to do something nice and nude. Just what I wanted to do. Uh, so I took off the lip oil I was wearing and I'm just going to go in first with some liner and this is one of their perfectionist lip uh, pencils in the shade cashmere. I just think it'll be a good match. And we're gonna line our lips. I don't know if you've really seen me do my lip liner on camera before. I don't generally. Um, but I do overline a bit. One, not because I just want to make them like too much like bigger, but just my bottom lip is a lot fuller than my top lip. Um, and I just like to even out the shape of it a bit more. Something kind of like that and then I mostly just follow my natural shape. It's hard to talk and do your lips. Okay that looks good happy with that and then now let's go in with this, ooh. Oh, I love the smell. Something just like that. Love that. Um, you would have already obviously seen all of the shades swatched out, uh, but that's my first time really seeing it kind of out. Uh, really love this shade. It's just beautiful. Almost seems like it has like a little bit of like a peachy pink kind of miss to it. Really like it, um, at least for me. Um, maybe just being as fair as I am, I don't find it too light, but I guess it could be really light um, if you're of a deeper complexion. Um, also, I do find that the Melt Cosmetics uh, Ultra Matte Lipsticks, um, a lot of people will talk about just like how matte they are. I will agree to a point. I feel like the like nudes and lighter shades really aren't that bad. Um, I actually almost find them almost creamy like, um, but like the deeper shades, like I haven't tried it on yet, but like for instance, the shade Wolfsbane from this collection, I'm sure that is going to be like matte AF. Like I do find the deeper shades are extremely matte and tuggy. So kind of take that as it is. Um, if you are just like afraid to try the formula because of just how much like people describe it as being a matte formula, um, then I recommend just trying something more in like their lighter and like nude range, which they have a lot of options in that. So, but this is super comfortable and I really like looks so that is that is it that's playing with the melt cosmetics and bailey Serian fatally yours collection i hope you had fun being on this wild ride with me uh some thoughts on the products oh i guess actually first brain uh other products i have on um i tried to stick with melt where i could so for my cheeks um, with both uh, blush and highlight. I went in with uh, Melt Cosmetics Blush Light in Sun Sundown. I almost said sunshade. Uh, sundown, just this gorgeous like shimmery 
bronze kind of color. It's almost like a sh more of a shimmery bronze, but I like using it as like a blush. And then I did mention it when I was doing like my inner corner, but again, the highlight I went in with was one of their digital dust highlights. And this is in the shade Stargazer, which is this beautiful sort of light champagne tone. Right. As for the whole collection, I am so in love with it. I definitely think that they nailed it with every every bit of this. Um, I think this collection has Bailey written all over it, and it definitely still also falls within like the melt universe to me of like who they are as a brand. So I think this collab was like a match made in heaven. Um, I just I, I knew it was going to be amazing when I heard about it. And I'm just, if anything, I'm just shocked they didn't do it sooner. Like we, we have been waiting for this collection. If you are a Melt lover, uh, Bailey lover, I just, you've been waiting for this collection. So, so happy to finally have it here. The eyeshadow palette is lovely, amazing. I had so much fun playing with it. I can't wait to dip into the rest of the shades. Um, just absolutely love it. Perform just how I expect the Melt Cosmetics shadows to perform. Um, the lipsticks, lovely. I'm so excited to have even more shades from them. Um, like I said, I own just about almost every single one they have, including shades that they had in previous collections that were limited edition and other shades that used to be part of their regular line that are discontinued. So I absolutely adore their bullet lipsticks and I'm just happy to have even more in that. Um, the gel liners, love it. Even though, funny enough, I didn't use either one in this collection. Um, I can't wait to play with Nightshade and I am really excited to have another Onyx. So super happy about those. I am so happy that they released even more of these um, glitter eye gels. They are just so lovely to work with. Uh, they dry down wonderful. Um, I haven't like worn them for like a super long time, so I can't really speak on like how they crease or anything like that. Um, maybe in some other videos people might touch on that a bit more. I tend to do my makeup at night after my kiddos go to sleep, so I normally am wearing it for a very short time and then I'm going to bed. I'm like washing it off and going to bed. So I never really have too much of a comment on like longevity, um, really just like the initial performance. So Hopefully that helps with that. Uh, but I am really happy to have these. Uh, like Boom Slang is definitely, you know, by far my like number one favorite thing in this collection. Uh, but uh, the Wisteria one is just absolutely stunning and I'm just happy to have this. And just like the more and more I look at this, just I get so mesmerized by the level of sparkle um, and like shifty sparkles that are in this. So it is truly a magical shade as well. Anyways, um, I feel like I talked a lot in this video. Uh, I don't know how quite long this is, uh, but I'm sure it is definitely a long one. So let's just wrap it up here. Um, I had so much fun getting to dig into this collection for the first time with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed my first impression and my initial thoughts on the collection. I can't wait to play with it more and create even more looks with it. And yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the collection, like whether you picked it up, didn't pick it up, um, if you did pick it up, what your favorite parts are, um, if you didn't pick it up, why, uh, just, I don't know, just anything, just even just say hi. Uh, I, if you enjoyed the video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and comment down below, like I was just saying, and uh, subscribe, you know, if my rambling and just psychobabble has not driven you away already. If you stuck around till now, you might as well stay in for the long haul. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, oh, one quick note too, like I can't check immediately on my phone right now, uh, but when checking recently, I do know that like the full collection, like how I bought it, where it's got um, uh, everything except the liquid lips, like those aren't part of the full, like the biggest bundle, um, that is sold out. Um, and then I know that they have all sorts of other little bundles, um, the purse uh, on its own, and then also any of the bundles that it was in are also all sold out. So I don't know if that is gonna be kind of available again at any point, um, but there are a lot of the individual items still available. Uh, and then some of like, you know, like bundles within that as well. So. If you wanted to grab something, um, I hope you're able to still get your hands on the pieces that you want. 
And again, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.